Here's a look at this week's Tuesday camp. On this yesterday evening, this is Wednesday morning, about six o'clock in the morning, waiting for the sun to come up. I drove drove in this way and found that little place to sit back there in the trees. It is a very overcast. I would call it uh, completely cloudy morning. You can see the sun rays right back there, coloring some of the some of the clouds. This is a uh, a numbered road. Very private spot. I'm liking that view right there. Well, the sun should be up in another. Yeah, it'll be it'll be uh, ten or fifteen minutes. I'll give you another look later. I think it's going to be a beautiful sunrise. It's going to be a very, very nice one. 60 degrees out. Just a slight breeze. Over here in all the ponderosa pines. Starting to be a little bit of color right back there. I think it's going to be a glorious one. That color disappeared. A little more back there. Nine double oh seven north intersection ninety two thirty R intersection and that road coming in is very rocky so as you can see uh, around me here this is all very rocky all this up this way is very rocky so regardless of the amount of rain you wouldn't stand you could drive in and out of this of this, these roads.
That's what I really liked about them. And as you can see, that that is 11M. I saw that in many places, and I wondered what in the world it was. So if you get close enough to read it, it says, Entering Game Management Unit 11M, Arizona Game and Fish Department. So if you are a hunter, and you want to hunt this area, and you wonder what the restrictions are, you just get on the Game and Fish website and and uh, find the restrictions or regulations for management area 11M. Then you could be in compliance with with the hunting regulations. It's a good system. This road is kind of rough for a ways. I walked about a half mile down this yesterday, and I only saw two real campsites one of them one of them is right here it goes right back up there nice spot but it's very shaded so if you don't need sunlight it's an excellent spot big fire ring over there all kinds of firewood laying around so Like I said earlier, but I think the camera went off. If you go out 92.30, it comes off of 222B. Then you would take a right and take you right out to 180. North of Flagstaff. So the search yesterday was uh, quite an extended search for this campsite. It was raining the whole time I was moving over this way. And I finally drove out of the rain. This was dry when I came in. And it didn't really rain anymore. <coughs> so I started over on 171 by Belmont. Uh, like I was in my last video but it was raining it was raining there was water running in the ditches it was really wet over there so i came up 171 to 222 and i brought 20 222 all the way over to uh, 180 and came up north now i missed 222b and had to turn around, come back and get on it. So this is not that far down 222B. And you turn off to the left on, let me get the number right, 9230R. And you come in just a little ways, weave in and out through, through those trees right there. It's a narrow, uh, high clearance vehicle might have trouble coming in that way. But if you went on, went on around and and found 9007N, you could come in. Uh, you spin around and get the right direction. You could come in that way. Come right down to this intersection, go right, right up to where my camp is. A beautiful place. It wasn't that quiet. We're not that far off of uh, 180, so I had traffic noise, you know, until 8:30, 9 o'clock, and then it died down, and you didn't hear it anymore. Uh, absolutely no traffic came by here. There is, there is a car camper down that road behind me I saw his camp he's a real minimalist uh, had had a cot set out with a tarp over it didn't even use a tent it was in a small car a good hiking good hiking so 
So if you like this spot, I'll give you kind of an idea how to find it. Come on in and enjoy it if you want to. A lot, there's a lot of places to park. We'll go back up to camp and I'll show you. So you can see how rocky this is. As much rain as there was yesterday, this is not muddy. And I'll tell you, Anytime you can find a, a road that doesn't get muddy out here in this national forest, it is a special place. Just knowing you're going to be able to get in and out without getting stuck, without having to dig through mud. Not many places like this. So I started... To keep it to myself, I thought, shoot, there's so many places right over here. You could back in there and level up. You could level up right over there. You can even level up down this side of the road. I saw that neat spot back back over there, and I just pulled back there and set up my camp. But there's places to level up. Get far enough off this main road. One double O seven in. Good places to park. And beautiful, beautiful, beautiful places to walk. I'm going to take a long hike down this thing tomorrow, or this morning, and uh, enjoy that. Yeah, so that's it for this week. The search ended right here. It was a long search. I am probably 15 miles from where I started at. But it was raining. There was nothing else to do. And uh, I did want to drive out of the rain, so I finally got out of it. It just it just sprinkled a little bit here last yesterday afternoon. That's why I put the awning out so I could set out and enjoy that rain without without getting wet. You can do that, you know. But it was a cloudy night, so there was no stargazing. I love to stargaze. I like to come out, find my big dipper, find the constellation Cassiopeia, Orion, and some others. Okay, finally see the sun. It's coming up. Right through there behind me. I thought it was going to come up down here at the end of the road, but it's way off to the, way off to the side. So I had my directions kind of my, turned around. Okay, that's going to be it for this week. This one's not easy to find, but it is a jewel. And as far as, as far as I can see down this, down this road, it stays rocky and 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 hard pack shouldn't be a tr shouldn't be trouble at all all to get down with it almost any kind of rig uh no big boulders but no i ain't kidding you now it is kind of rough you do have to go slow but it is very passable and a beautiful beautiful area no mud don't forget to like subscribe leave me a comment And we'll see you in the next video.